Aquarius, welcome to your tarot and rune reading of the month of March. We're going to use angel cards at the end, clarify with the uh, rune cards, and use tarot and runes, okay? So what do Aquarians need to know for the month of March? What do Aquarius needs to know? What's coming? What do we need to be aware of? And some hidden messages, hopefully, for you. So what's coming along for Aquarius in March? Aquarius in March, what do we need to know? Sun, rising and moon signs of Aquarius, what's going on in March? Let's have a look. So Aquarius have four cards and then we'll clarify them with those and also some runes so first of all we have the hermit we have the ace of swords the queen of swords as well as the emperor so wow <laughs> if you read cards you've probably picked up on these energies um already uh, so what's going on for you guys is definitely uh, having a feel of really going inside, knowing your mind. Aquarians have got that strong mindedness, but they also tend to have at the march that get up and go attitude in a very logical stance. Do you know if you go inside now as you're listening to this, that you'll know all your answers that you need? You've already thought to yourself, do I need to cut certain things off? Do I need to develop and start something that's very special and dear to your heart? So taking the special time out now will pay dividends. It's the logical thing to actually do for yourselves. And perhaps cutting those uh, ties from the past is also a very good idea. For a lot of you, though, uh, study is coming to uh, mind at the moment. And it's almost like some of you might be really thinking of going back to a certain study, whether it's open university, college, things like that. So the truth of the matter is sometimes we need that spark within ourselves, that desire, that connection. And when we have a look at it, um, it, it means that we are in charge of our minds and the choices that we make now will pay dividends in the long run. So with the Queen of Swords, this is about that focus, the good intention for all concerned. So whether it is cutting off things from the past, past and being very logical about this, it is going to really pay dividends. So we have the Virgo energy and we have the Aryan energy as well. So those of you thinking um, about a Virgo or an Aries, really need to know what decisions are coming to light whether you're going to cut them off or keep them within your life some of these might be helpers though as well so for you to actually meld together is a decision sometimes that's needed so we're going to have a look at for most of you for aquarius what what this all means um on a deeper level than ever before so for aquarius being victorious over your mind is good. Being victorious over your heart is equally good. When we have the emperor, this is strict ability to have a look at all logic equations for moving forward. So for you guys, for Aquarius, what else do we need to know? What are the moving energies? For Aquarius in March. So... And then we'll use the runes. So with that one. Okay. So we've got some really interesting uh, decisions. <laughs> First of all, we have the nine of um, pentacles. Or is it pen? Um, yeah. So this is a strong aspect here. Because we've got all the ones, we've got all the swords, we've got all the pentacles. It's like, first of all, we look at Uros here within this. And when we go within, we have everything. When we also go within, 
for you guys. It's the for us and the thorn, the difficult decisions that we need to make. So sometimes when we go back to training or we decide to, to work and train or we decide to have a family and work, there are a lot of components to making decisions. So this is why we have to make it for ourselves. We can't know ourselves fully um, and, and, until we grasp the full situation. It does show that you will definitely have um, success because with inner strength and what you really want to build up is strength of mind, strength of character as well. You do, of course, have temperance here. So this is going to bring a sense of healing when you do follow your own um, heart and the good intention of all involved. So w when, you, when you're in a partnership or you're in a family aspect and you have to um, consider other people in the equation, it's got this healing ability as well. So making things clear, concise, it is a really good thing because you're in your element this particular month um, as the Queen of Swords going within, knowing what you are communicating. And of course, you've got the Empress here, which is the growth of your mind fully. So you might have new ideas. You, you might be um, thinking maybe this pregnancy, maybe extending your family, maybe extending money, coming in, taking another job or changing job. It's all within you. And, and sometimes it makes a difficult decision easy when you've healed. But there is a change coming for you and it's going to be a logical change. It's going to be a new beginning. We see this within these. This triangle here is absolutely vital uh, for you as a head of it to actually know how you are bringing to light the pain that you might have been suffering. Now, this one um, with, with uh, under the Emperor is the Seven of Cups. Not the most favourite card, really. It means that, that there are a certain amount of um, options, seemingly. And this is why, for you, it has to be the most logical decision that is going on within your life when you're making these decisions. First thing is healing. Second is making the decision from your highest point of view for the good intention of all. So when we have the Seven of Cups, it seems to be that, that there are a lot of choices. Now for you, there's only going to be one choice, the right choice. And when we actually do the logical aspect of that, you know, it's the elimination of everything that is the thorn within our side. So... <laughs> Having the strength of character when things have gone a little bit askew it is okay because once we've gained our inner strength here with um, the hermit, we can see that by waiting, having patience, being unconditional to have made the decision, then that this becomes more of a ten of a cup scenario instead of, oh, everything around me it, it is good. Uh, seemingly good but is it mine so sometimes we need to go w within more to have a look am I borrowing from other people's ideas and that's maybe the one of the things that I'm battling with and this is why it's a logical decision is this the right thing for me to do but the best thing for you is you've got temperance which is a change up for things to be better if you have the patience and the vision in actually seeing that so we can actually see this with the runes for each of these sections so there's one two Have we got the camera all screw with again? <laughs> <clears throat> so the first aspect is going with the flow and Lagoose. So Lagoose is here and it shows that even when we feel stuck, we need that strength. We need to really understand that when we go in, our answers will come. So this is a flow, going with the flow. As long as we have good intention and have healed, which we definitely have here, then you'll be able to realise that uh, when you've made the right decision for where you are going within March, then it's going to be the right decision. You have Swallow here, which is a happiness card. 
and, and it means everything comes to light just like her hair everything is bright it's almost like the enlightenment card so for you having these good ideas just relax into it and know that you've listened to your heart your inside your higher self to bring more happiness for the good of all and you have Jira here, which is all about the harvest. Perfect time for the Empress, which is the harvest. So the, pl the seeds that you've planted, the new ideas here is definitely coming to light in good intentions. So the Queen of Swords that, that you are within yourself, what you're telling yourself is what you're putting that unconditional good intentions into to have that reward. And this is a very beginning um, with, with um, the kind of aspect where it lights the way. So it goes extremely well here with um, the Emperor card in that fire element. The fire element is so strong when we have this uh, rune because it means that things are coming um, to light and it's a very much like the torch. So the new vision that you see within yourself um, brings kind of t to its um, light. So this is an excellent time for, for believing in yourself. This is about self-belief as well. It's like opening up um, to the harvest. When we do harvest, whatever this idea is, I'm going to do this, that and the other, we have to make the opportunity. We have to see the vision. It's that spark, it's that one idea needs to come to light. So this is where these two cards are really about strength, change for the better the new idea, the inner light, but logically putting these things into action. It's like if we don't put them into action, then it's just a thought. So let's have a look at what your angel message is all about at the moment. But yeah, starting things and boy, seeing the new vision is always a good thing to do. Let's have a look for you. I don't mean for you lot to topple over. <laughs> oh friendships so friendships are always a good thing to actually have uh successful couples are good friends so you know sometimes when we have friends um they can give us indications of where we are so sometimes when we trust fully friendships then that they can opens up uh, many different aspects not only good relationships but it also opens up that trusting about where you are within your life. Sometimes friendships need to be cut off. If they are toxic, then we need to cut them off. But new friendships, well, that's a different story. And if that opens up to become a fantastic love relationship, well, that was definitely a good idea, wasn't it? Enjoy the month. <laughs>